Hello, I'm Jody Wolf, and you're watching Expose, January 14, 2021, 10.45 p.m. Birmingham. Topic, are you ready for our president, Donald J. Trump? Well, I am waiting, and he will be our president. A lot of things are going down behind the scenes still right now today. Today, um, I've heard there's been more arrests, um, and there's a lot more to go. And along with this, you know, other than what I read last night, or night before rather, somebody said, well, Trump was just lagging behind going along but laying out a trap exactly what trump is doing and um that kind of reminds me of if you go back and watch the superman movie i don't know which one maybe it was the first one i think it was um when lex luther was somehow, some way in Superman's house, you know, in the Antarctic somewhere or wherever it was. And then the bad guys from the planet Krypton was there and Lex and, or Superman and the bad guys were talking. They said, look, you're going to have to join us. You're going to have to kneel to us. If you don't, we're going to destroy this planet. And then Superman you know, he, he wants to save this planet. He loves the people. So he said, okay, I'll stand here and you go in there and you'll be safe. This room will take away my powers. And Lex Luthor said, that's right. It'll do that. I saw it. I saw him do that. And he said, but General, make him go in there. Out here, you'll be safe. In there, it'll make him like me. So they made him go in this little room. And when the green lights above came on, it seemed like it drained him of all his energy. And when he walked out, he was just a puny, weak-looking Superman with no powers. But that's not what happened. He reversed it. It took their powers away and used Luther as a snake he is to con them. They put him in there where he would be protected. So he did it to them. This is what Donald Trump did. He did it to them. And today, I don't know if you heard, Arizona, and it was on the news, they have recalled everything. They are giving theirs over. They have given the lieutenant governor and somebody else or whoever it was, you got this many hours to prove a point or to get this together. In other words, they are turning all theirs over to Trump. And it seems there are several more states about to do the same thing. In other words, they've been caught. They know they've been caught. And, and there's a fate far worse from them if they keep going through with this, knowing they're in on the coup. So you think about that. And look at the big tech companies that are banning Trump, banning the president of the United States. Look, that's going to be hell to pay. That too proves they're in with a coup. And all, all else. In other words, so many people have raised their heads in the last two days. People that we wouldn't have even thought was part of it. 
that they have. It's like everybody is coming to the surface now. Just like back when the gays came out of the closet. Oh my God, I didn't know he was a gay. And, you know, people that we never thought would do anything like that were. I mean, I'm talking about movie stars. I'm not talking about, well, half of the Congress probably is gay. I don't know. But you know my point. They're all coming out and raising their heads, they're exposing themselves. And when they do that, they're telling the world, yes, we're in on it, we're part of it, we lied, we cheated, and we stole. But we got what we wanted. We got our prize. No, you didn't. You know, they didn't count on God being in charge of the whole thing all along. Go to the Bible and it clearly says that nothing happens without God's permission. And that means powers are in place because God allowed it. And again, he uses bad people to achieve his purpose many times. But this is not one of those times. He's using bad people to expose themselves, to bring all of them up, up front and center, expose themselves on their own, and then the rightful heir to our presidency, which is Donald J. Trump, steps forward. He will be sworn in. He will be our president in 2021. The day may not fall on the 20th for reasons that I don't know, but I'm just telling you what I've read, what I've listened to, what I've heard, and what I believe with all my heart. Trump's going to be our president. And, and it's going to blow this country away and even even the world you know look at all the countries even, even Germany has come to his aid look at all these countries out there that are saying wait y'all can't do that <laughs> so they acknowledge there's a very bad people in the United States attempting this coup because if we fall, they, they think about this logically. If we fall, it's just a matter when will they fall to. And that's true. If our government and our constitution will not fight for the citizens of this country, and we have the best constitution in the world, well, then why even have federal courts and, and Supreme Court judges? They're, they're not needed when you get people like two-year term senators or congressmen wanting to impeach and kick out Trump just because they want to continue to screw this country and get everything they can get out of it until there's no country left. But God says, not yet. Not today and not on my watch. Donald Trump will be sworn in. He will be our president. And I thank my God for that. Jody Wolf exposed.